Ever wondered how an empire could survive for over a thousand years despite constant threats and turmoil? Welcome to the world of the Byzantine Empire. Born from the ashes of the Roman Empire, the Byzantine Empire, also known as the Eastern Roman Empire, was a beacon of resilience and endurance in a time of constant change and conflict. Its capital, Constantinople, stood as a strategic bridge between Europe and Asia, a bustling hub of culture, commerce, and diplomacy. For over a thousand years this empire weathered the storm of invasions, internal strife, and economic challenges, standing firm in the face of adversity. It was a testament to the strength and tenacity of its people. By the end of the 5th century, the Western Roman Empire had collapsed, leaving the Eastern Roman Empire standing alone, soon to be known as the Byzantine Empire. So what made the Byzantine Empire so unique and enduring? Let's dive into its golden age. Our journey begins with the reign of Justinian I, a visionary leader whose ambitions were as vast as the empire itself. His reign saw a flurry of grand construction projects that permanently altered the architectural landscape of the empire. But perhaps Justinian's most enduring contribution was the codification of Roman law, a monumental task that still influences legal systems today. Now the golden age of Byzantium was not just about grand edifices and laws, it was a time of flourishing arts and literature. Poets, philosophers and scholars found their voice during this period, leaving a lasting cultural imprint that would echo through the centuries. But it wasn't all golden. Remember the Nika riots? This tumultuous event saw half the city of Constantinople burned to the ground. Yet, from the ashes, the city was reborn, stronger and more vibrant than before. As we transition into the Heraclean dynasty, we find an empire under siege. The Arab sieges of Constantinople presented unprecedented challenges, but the Byzantines, ever resilient, held their ground. Despite the constant threats, the Byzantine Empire remained a beacon of culture and power, a testament to its resilience. All this and more made the Golden Age of Byzantium a fascinating chapter in the annals of history. And remember, this is but a glimpse into the depths of an empire that refused to fade into oblivion. But as with all great empires, the sun eventually set on the Byzantine Empire. A gradual decline began to take hold marked by the loss of territories which once bloomed under Byzantine rule. The empire's strength began to wane, its once impenetrable walls crumbling under the weight of external pressures and internal strife. The Fourth Crusade, originally intended to bolster the Christian presence in the Holy Land, took a disastrous detour. In a shocking twist of fate, the Crusaders sacked Constantinople in 1204, a city they were meant to defend. This brutal event marked a significant blow to the empire's prestige and resources. Despite these adversities, the Byzantine Empire fought hard to recover, but as years turned into decades and decades into centuries, the encircling Ottoman Turks grew ever more powerful. In 1453, after a grueling siege, Constantinople fell to the Ottoman Turks, marking the end of the Byzantine Empire. The sun had indeed set, but the legacy of Byzantium continues to echo through the ages. The Byzantine Empire, a beacon of resilience and culture, has left an indelible mark on history. From its golden age, marked by cultural richness and intellectual prowess, to the trials that led to its decline, the empire's story is one of enduring spirit. Its longevity, spanning over a thousand years, is a testament to its resilience and adaptability. From its inception as the Eastern Roman Empire to its fall in 1453, the Byzantine Empire's tale is a testament to human resilience and ingenuity, a tale that continues to fascinate us to this day.